let's provide a solution to this problem. 5 to the power of x multiplied by 5 to the power of x by 5 to the power of x equals 10. Now, what do we observe from the left hand side? We have the same powers and we have the same base, right? But according to the law of indices, if you have the same base, pick one of them and add the powers. We only add this when you are to multiply them like this. This will be equal to 10. So 5 to the power of 3x is now equal to 10. Now, this would have been very easy for us if we can write 10 in index form to have um, to have 5 as the base. It's not possible, right? That means we need to introduce log. Log 5 to the power of 3x equals log 10. Now, what do I do? There's this law that says the powers can always go behind. So we have 3x log 5 which will be equal to log 10, like this. Now, what do I do? Divide both sides by log um, 5, right? So I'll divide this by log 5, and divide this by log 5. This will cancel this. And then I have 3x to be equal to log 10 over log uh, 5. But then I can simplify this right-hand side. So that I will have 3x to be equal to log 5 times 2. This will be over log 5. Now what can I do? Since I am to multiply this, it means that I will have 3x to be equal to log 5 plus, okay, since I'm multiplying these terms to plus, then we have log 2. The whole of this is over log 5, right? Now, do you also know that this log 5 is for both this and this? See what I will do. 3x is equal to log 5 over log 5 plus log 2 over log um, 5. Okay? Now, let's continue. 3x here will be equal to log 5 divided by log 5 will give 1. Then plus here we have log 2 to log 5, right? Log 2 to be um, divided by log 5. This will give us log 2 to the base of 5. Because every time you have, you have to divide something in this form, remember that this will be log of 2 to base 5. See what I'm trying to say? I'm saying that if you have um, log A over log B, log a over log b is the same thing as log a to the base of b and that's what i did over here okay now what do i do from here divide both sides by three okay because we are looking for x divide the whole of this by three this cancels this and our x is one plus log two to base five and the whole of this is over three now, remember that this may not be correct, so we have to check it right away. And to check this, what, we, what is our original equation? Our original equation is 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of x equals 10. And now we have that x is equal to 1 plus... Um, log 2 to base 5 everything over 3 now we're going to put this into this equation but before then let's deal with the left hand side you know we got 5 to the power of 3x right since we have to pick one of the bases and add the power and this is equal to 10 so if we put this value into this do we have 10 as our answer that is what we are trying to work on now so from here we have 5 to the power of 3 and in place of x I write 1 plus log 2 to base 5 and the whole of this is over 3. Now will this give us 10? We are working on it. Now my attention will be on the left hand side now.
open this bracket first. So if I do that, or oh, by the way, this can just cancel this, right? So that we have 5 to the power of 1 plus log 2 to the base of 5. We are still trying to check if this will give us 10. Now, do you know that this is the same thing as 5 to the power of 1 multiplied by 5 to the power of log 2? Okay, log 2 to base 5. Do you know that these are the same thing? Yes, they are the same thing. Now, the next thing we will do is this. Let's recall one of the rules of logarithm that says if you have this, if you have log a to base b, and then you have a, um, let me get b down here, and you have b down here. Now, what do you think you will have from here? This will give us ordinary a. Log a to b, and you have your b down here, then a here becomes the value you will have. So I'm going to apply the same thing to this. So I have 5 to the power of 1 multiplied by... Now, because I have this, okay, see what I'm trying to say? Here we have log 2 to base 5, and we have 5 down here, okay? So because we have the same thing, then 2 here becomes what we have there. So we are having 5 to the power of 1 multiplied by 2. 5 to the power of 1 is the same thing as... 5. So multiply this by 2 and it gives 10. Remember, it is 10 we had on the right hand side. So this is to confirm that x is truly equal to 1 plus log 2 to base 5 all over 3. Thank you for watching to the end.